Reggae Jam, we're there right now with the big man, Busy Signal. We just done perform, and it was a great, great, great show. We tear down the place. We see everybody I roll out for come on the place, pack. So how you feel right now? It's a blessing, you know. It's always a blessing for us to represent for the fans. And I mean, we just stay up on the road, and I mean, it's just been great. So I just, I, just, I just a love and a blessing and a oneness for us to represent for the fans. I know German is always a blessing and a, a, a love here. And we get from here when I always travel from Jamaica to Germany. And I mean, it's been such a glorious moment on stage just a while ago. And I mean, even ever since, before even this show, Germany has always shown me love. So I'm representing, showing the love, you know, delivering the music. I see you very, you seem very determined when you're on stage. It's like, did the last year affect it, give it in a way a positive impact on your career when it comes to focusing on what you want to do, what you want to be, where you want to reach? Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, you know, everything is, is, is influential in life and everything is just a learning process in life, you know. So, I mean, as we hear me say on the stage, last year is the past year. You know, last year is the past year. We just put the past behind. You know, once it's negative, we put the past, be past behind. But actually, that negative also help to work out very positive for me now when I'm looking at it and, and even looking back at it. So I have to always grow up and know so it's just knowledge and, and a learning process in every step of the way. So it's just, just I give thanks overall for everything, you know. Me see your thing with Major is a shot. I don't see the last time I checked on YouTube was like 10 million click, I'm not sure. How that collaboration come together and how you feel about the whole movement? Well, I mean, I've been, I've been lacking it with, 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 um, with Major Laser ever since, you know. I used to do, you know, before there was Major, Major Laser, yeah. it, was, it was just busy signal doing some dub plates for these guys. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's just a building process. You have to lay the foundation. You have to go through certain steps. And they're really, you know, full of ideas and they're creative and using the, 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 the Jamaican culture to breach and to fuse through you know, and go through with different genres of music and, and, and cross the boundaries in music where you can't even put a limit on music. Because music is just, like, music is, is life, music is magic. There's no limit to us doing music and I'm so happy to be a part of all of this and everything and I know they are, you know, because they say that so, and I mean, it's just, it's just me working with Major Lazer, I've been working with them since MIA time. Okay. You know, so it's way before, way, way before. Yeah. No, you know, so I mean, I'm, I'm so happy to say that as well. It's not just like, oh, I just know these guys and I'm just doing something with them. Even so, it would be a blessing, but it's more rooted and it's more roots when I've known them over the years. I could call each one of them. I could link them. I could do whatever, wherever in the world they are. It's, it's like my friends, my brothers, you know? So it's just musical team, musical work and effort. So it's a blessing. So what can we expect from Busy Signal? The last album was a straight reggae album, which was, people say it's an untouchable album. How are the next album going to be? Well, we have a mixture. You know, we have three albums right now already. We're just waiting on the right timing for each of these albums, you know? You know, we don't rush music. Because I wasn't here last year, and I wasn't here last year, you know, last year because of the situation. I wasn't here last year to promote fully the Reggae Music Again album. You know, it was released last year. Then after the release, I was incarceration, you know? So, I mean, incarcerated. It was just so, you know, that was going on that time. But right now I'm just there and I just want to promote the album to the fullest where I can right now. Okay, you know, reggae music never dies. As you can hear, I sing songs off the album on stage tonight as well. Just promote it in person right now, physically. So, you know, not just musically and audio. Now the people can visualize and see the music being done live, you know, by me. You know, and I mean, that's, that's overwhelming and it's just so much blessing. I mean, we can't stop giving thanks to the most I job. Because, I mean, it's just so much work and everything. It's not garbage. These work are very important. These work are very trend-setting. You know, you see a lot of young youth, young talent rising up right now. Busy Signal did that, reggae music, without locks, without claiming Rastafari, just being a positive, you know, from my heart and everything, showing the respect to reggae music and positiveness. You know what I mean? So I really started back this reggae evolution. Whoa. That's what I was going to ask. Definitely. We started all this, you know, a lot of, we didn't have nothing to say names, you know, a lot of, you can see a lot of young, new reggae talent, you know, striving and, and rising up right now. It's all because of Busy Signal taking up back that, just from a positive heart, you know what I mean? Because I did reggae music at a time when there was no 
reggae music playing or singing, at least locally in Jamaica. It was just mere nastiness and stupidity and flossing and music, and hype, hype, and you know, singing about jewelry and you know what I mean? I do reggae music in the midst of all that when everybody was scared to. I ever, I ever saw people who do reggae music in Jamaica that represent Rastafari even cut their locks off. Natural black cut off his locks. You know what I mean? I did reggae music in the midst of that when people was running from reggae to go and support dancehall. Dancehall brought me to the world, yeah? But reggae music stand forever. Reggae music is bigger than dancehall worldwide. You know what I mean? And reggae music is more living. You know what I mean? Reggae music, most reggae music, most real reggae music is life. Seeing so, not saying anything about dancehall, not discriminating dancehall, not down talking dancehall. Dancehall has been great for me and I'm, I will never stop doing dancehall. But I just took some time out and did reggae music and, 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 and ja. Let me make that move, because it was, it was definitely, I'm looking at it right now, if, if people don't want to give me the credit that I really take up back this button and really evolutionary, move with this reggae music thing since, since even if they don't want to give me the credit, I know what I know, and people know. You know what I mean? It's Jano. Vincent, I give thanks for the time. No respect. Wish you all the best for your career and coming up, you know, blessed. <laughs>